As a child, we always had a question in mind that how exactly big ships starts floating on the surface of water, whereas a small coin when dipped in the water gets sinked in the water. Now, how exactly it happens? This answer is given to us by Archimedes, and his principle is called as Archimedes principle. So, in this today's lecture, we are going to learn about Archimedes principle. So, let us begin. Now, what exactly Archimedes told us? The basic statement of Archimedes is: whenever an object is fully or partially immersed in a fluid. Fully or partially, मतलब पूरा डुबाया है या थोड़ा बहुत डुबाया है कहां पे इन ऑफ फ्लूड वेने वर वी टॉक अबाउट फ्लूड वी टॉक अबाउट लिक्विड एंड गैसेस सो लिक्विड एंड गैसेस आर द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ फ्लूड अभी हम लोग के कन्वीनियंस के लिए हम लोग लिक्विड कंसिडर करेंगे दैट इज वॉटर सो स्टेटमेंट क्या था वेन एवर एंड ऑब्जेक्ट इज पार्शली और टोटली या फुल्ली एमर्ज इन अ फ्लूड इट एक्सपीरियंसिस फोर्स नाउ इफ इट एक्सपीरियंसिस फोर्स This force is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by an object. Now, this statement looks very tricky. Let us break the statement into two statements. That is, the first part will be: whenever an object is fully or partially immersed in a fluid, it experiences a force. First, we are going to understand the first part of the statement. Then, we are going to understand the second part of the statement. That is, the force experienced by an object or force offered by a liquid is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by an object so let us start understanding this with the help of an experiment archimedes principle ka pehla part lete hain archimedes ne pehle part mein kya bola whenever a body is fully or partially immersed in a fluid idhar hum fluid lenge water then it experiences a force तो सबसे पहले ये इतना तक पार्ट हम लोग समझते हैं तो सबसे पहले हम लोग ने फ्लूड को कंसीडर किया है एज वाटर हमने बीकर में पानी भरा और ये हम लोग का ऑब्जेक्ट है नाउ वेन एवर आई ट्राई टू पुश दिस बॉल इनसाइड इट अगेन कम्स इन दी अपर डायरेक्शन अगेन आई ट्राई टू पुश दिस बॉल अगेन इट कम्स इन दी अपर डायरेक्शन means water is applying a force on this ball now this upward force is called as upthrust or buoyant force so water always offers an upward force due to which this object is not sinking inside the water it is floating on the water so this justifies the first part of the archimedes statement that is whenever an object is fully or partially immersed in a fluid that is our water then it experience a force and that is an upward force now due to this reason the big big ships are able to float on the surface of water now whenever we try to lift our friend inside a swimming pool what we see we see that the weight of our friend is far less as compared to his weight in air now to answer this thing let us do further experiment Now to understand how much weight is lost in a liquid let us put some weight in this ball and i'm going to attach a string now here i have a ball with certain weight now before immersing it in liquid let me measure its weight in air Now as you can see the mass which it is showing is 0.125 kg now remember this is not the weight this is the mass now what will be the weight weight will be mass multiplied by acceleration due to gravity so i am going to say if i am going to multiply this by 10 instead of 9.8 for our calculation let us take it as 10 okay so it will be 0.125 multiplied by 10 What will be 0.125 multiplied by 10? It will be 1.25 newton, or else I can say it as kg force. Okay, so the weight of this object is 1.25 kg force or 1.25 newton. Now let us see its weight inside the liquid. Now when I immerse it in liquid, 
the mass which is coming is is 0.105 kg if mass is 0.105 kg then what will be the weight the weight will be 0.105 multiply by 10 so that becomes 1.05 kg force or 1.05 newton initially the weight which we got was 1.25 newton now we got that is 1.05 newton now what will be loss in weight the loss in weight will be weight in air minus the weight in the fluid or we can say water that is 1.25 newton minus 1.05 newton so loss in weight becomes that is 0.20 newton so that is the reason we feel less heavier in the liquid as compared to air now this is the reason big big ships with heavy weight they are easily floating on the surface of water now let us move to the second part of archimedes principle what archimedes told us when an object is fully or partially immersed in a fluid here our fluid is water then it experiences an upward force we have named it as buoyant force now the force or the upward force is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by an object मतलब जो अपवर्ड फोर्स रहेगा वो कितना रहेगा जितना लिक्विड डिस्प्लेस होगा बी करते सो लेट अस फाइंड इट आउट हम लोग ने उसका वेट कितना निकाला था लॉस एंड वेट दैट वाज 0.20 न्यूटन अभी देखते हैं And that is our Archimedes principle.